So, hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, it's no secret, I'm a pretty big Harry Potter fan. Um, I definitely read all the books, and I saw all the movies, and I felt a little let down by the movie's interpretation of Voldemort. So I decided today, I'm going to tweak their Voldemort to fit my interpretation of the book's description. So, the first thing it says about him is that he's tall and skeletally thin. So it's an easy fix right here. Just make him a little bit taller. Yeah, because I didn't feel like he was tall enough in the movie. Make him a little bit skinnier. Okay, whiter than a skull. Okay, I think they did pretty well right there. Like, I don't know if his skin could get much whiter than that without looking really weird. Okay, that, now this is the next... I have a problem with this part. With wide, livid, scarlet eyes. Not even close. Okay, so I'm going to make his eyes a little wider. Okay, so I nailed that. Now the next part is with livid scarlet eyes. Okay, livid. Okay? So, that looks livid. And a nose that what is as flat as a snake's with slits for nostrils. Now, I think they did a pretty good job on this part right here. Um, I'll show you a little shot from the movie, a profile shot. Ew, right? I mean, it looks pretty like what the book, book describes, though, so give him credit. Don't need to change anything for that. So, this is probably where Warner Bros. really lost me. Um, specifically says in the book, his hands were like large, pale spiders. So, I really don't know how else to interpret that, other than his hands were like spiders. So, I'm just going to change that to make it a little more accurate towards the book. And I think everybody else who's a Harry Potter fan would agree with me that this is probably what they were picturing when they first read the book. Hey, thanks for watching my video and my interpretation of Voldemort. Hope you liked it. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this video.